everyone it's angelina back with another video and today's video is going to be on this look right here it's like a glowy spring pop of color kind of look right here i feel like spring is so meant for glowy skin so i'm ready my skin is looking extra glowy if you guys want to see how i did this look just keep on watching this video so basically i just wasted my whole time right now because I try to film another makeup tutorial and I'm probably gonna do it another day just because I really don't want to redo it and yeah like I just messed up the whole look at first I was like okay I'm just gonna wrap it up and just not film today but I was like okay like I kind of like it's gonna be a waste of time put back everything put back my setup and literally not even have a video to edit or anything so I was like okay might as well do another look so we're just gonna begin. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Rivera palette. This actually launched, I believe, last spring. And this palette reminds me of like Paris, Italy. And then this is how the colors look like right here, if you don't know. I'm just trying to welcome spring here. So I was like, might as well just start off this day and let's do a spring tutorial. Even though it's like literally so cloudy outside, I'm not complaining, but still. So I'm going to go in with this Monte Carlo shade and I feel like spring is all about pinks and stuff, you know, super girly. I already set my eyes. I use the Boing concealer and I use the um, Airspun to set it and I really like the Boing concealer. So I'm literally just going to map out my eye with the Monte Carlo shade. It's a light pink. I honestly don't even know what look I'm going for if I'm being honest, but I know I want it to be easy for like, you know, if you want to start off with like colorful eyeshadow. So we're just going to map it out and kind of just blend it. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. So let me just figure that out off camera and then I'll come back once I have a look done. Because <laughs> if not, we're literally just going to be here for like 15 minutes straight, me trying to decide what I want to do. So I found a look that I'm going to do, you guys, and it's like super easy, like literally you're starting with makeup and you want to do like a colorful look, anybody could do this, okay? So we're going to go in with the shade Monte Carlo, as you guys saw, and you guys didn't see the rest, but trust, this eye look is super easy. I didn't want to do anything like, I knew I wanted to do color, but I was like, mm, I want to do something easy. We're just going to color this in. So now that we have that light pink shade, we're going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a hot pink. It's called Bahamas. Honestly, if I didn't do this eye already and use the light pink, I would have just gone in with this color, but I didn't know, so it's fine. And you guys know I like my eyeshadow high, so I'm going to bring it up pretty high. So now we are going to go in with the shade Kane's right here. It's a purple shade, and I'm kind of going to do like a halo eye with this and then eventually gradually get, make the purple darker now the purple shade is on and now last part super easy i'm telling you like literally you just need like three brushes and then i'm going to go in i'm going to mix two shades actually so i'm going to go in with the shade seaside and then i'm going to go in with the shade mediterranean and mix these two and I'm going to put it all over my lid as my lid color. And that's basically it for the eye, you guys. It's so easy. Super easy. I wanted like a colorful but like easy look for anybody to do. Even if you are like advanced with makeup, anybody could do this. So I really like it because like it's still a pop of color but so easy to achieve. Literally, like if I wasn't filming, it would probably take me like 10 seconds to do this. Now I'm going to pop on my Lily Lashes. I'm actually using House of Lash Glue. And this is my first time. And this is the black shade. And I don't really use black shade. I used to use black when I first started doing lashes. And then I realized that that clear lash glue was just so much easier to work with. But we're going to use black eyelash glue. So what I like to do with my eyeshadow actually. I'm, I like to go with a makeup wipe and just sharpen it up. Um, just because I like the look of it to look sharp. But... If you like it more round you don't have to do this but i like the look to look like super sharp now we are going to go in with the face now which is going to tie this look all together because i feel like i look crazy with this colorful eyeshadow look and no like foundation or nothing i already moisturized my face i feel like i can go 
without moisturizing my face now whenever I do my makeup like it just feels wrong like I need to moisturize my face now but because this is like a spring look I am going to have my face dewy and very light and look very fresh like still full beat but like fresh you know I feel like to me spring and summer is very like all about like looking having the fresh face not like a full full beat and like super like matte like you want it to still you want your skin to still look like your skin you get me so yeah so i'm going to go in with the mac strobe cream this is such like an og and this is in the shade i don't know oh this is gold light and it's just like it says gold it's like a light gold shade and it's so pretty you don't want to go too like ham with this though i literally use like this much because you don't want to like use too much just because um, especially if you have oily skin because too much glow makes you look a little crazy so I like to use this just to have that like inner glow but still not look super crazy I remember one time I used this product and I used too much and I literally looked like a grease ball by the end of the day but yeah like this like literally a little bit goes a long way you just want like a little bit just so that way you know you still have that glow like you guys could like see the glow ready i really like it like during spring and summertime like this is one of my favorite products i put it away of course during winter because like i feel like you just don't want to be like, like for me i like to be matte full b i don't really like to have like the glowy dewy look during winter but summer and spring is definitely when i bring out the glowing and stuff like that and super bronzed of course like i said during summer and spring you want your face to be light as possible because you are going to be sweating it off especially if you live in california so yeah i'm going to go in with the Too faced born this way foundation and i'm just going to pump some on literally i mean that looks like a lot me says a little bit but this is literally like three pumps so i'm just gonna blend this all into my face i like this because you could build up the coverage and it literally is so light on the face like I can't even feel this on my face now we're gonna go in with concealer I'm using the age rewind by Maybelline I don't have a high-end concealer that isn't like lightweight but still full coverage I have the Too Faced one and the Tarte one and those are as we all know super full coverage and super thick but for spring we want your makeup to feel light as possible but still have good coverage but like light you get me and i feel like this is perfect because it's it has good coverage but it's super light on the face i was on twitter today and i peeped that all my block was coming for a season three in march and you don't understand how happy i am with that i remember it coming out i want to say like my senior year of high school i think or maybe like my first year out of high school I don't know but I remember it coming out and I was obsessed with all my block I want to say my senior year though and now they're on like season three and I'm so ready for that like I am ready I'm obsessed with all my block and I've actually been watching this show so I've been watching Sweet Life on Deck and like I'm almost done I'm on season three and I'm so sad because like ugh, that's like literally my childhood and yeah so i think i'm gonna rewatch it just because it's my childhood and like i just want to relive my childhood i just want to keep replaying my childhood on repeat okay and last night i was actually watching i was watching dylan and cole sprouts like um i was watching their interviews when they were babies and they were so cute like this was like in 1999 so i wasn't even born yet i was born in 2000 but they are so adorable and it's crazy and it's crazy like watching like those interviews because like the fact that i wasn't even born yet but like they're so cute and they're turning 28 this year that's crazy they're nearly 30 like that's insane because when i was watching them on sweet life on deck and stuff they were like literally mini babies like i mean i was a baby watching them like i was probably like because they're born in so yeah like we're literally babies okay so um i was probably i was like five when sweet life of Zach and Cody started and then Sweet Life on Deck started and I was like eight years old when that started and they were like my age like around my age like teenagers and yeah so it's like crazy that they're gonna be 30 like was like where did my childhood go like where did all these years go because I feel like 
it went by so quick where I'm just like I want my childhood back like I don't want an adult anymore like I'm over it <laughs> I'm over it like I've seen this adult life and I'm not having it and I want to be a kid again I want to just worry like I feel like I want to go back and like worry about me not finishing my homework you get me like that's the struggle that I want to go back to and then just like worry about me not like getting to watch like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody or like Disney Channel at nighttime but I want to worry about that okay like I'm over this adulting I hate it so now we are going to set the face oh no we're not I've mentioned before that during spring and summertime, I love my skin super bronze, even though it's funny, like I'm filming this and it's literally cloudy outside, but it's fine. So I like my skin super bronze. So I really don't, I mean, there will be days if I'm like, if I want like a full beat and I'm going out to dinner or something, then I'll do cream contour, but I really don't cream contour during summer. I cream bronze and this is the Chanel one and I need to buy a new one because if you guys see that big old hole right there, like I need a new one. And I literally just take a brush and I apply it like bronzer and this color is so pretty and it like actually I set my face if you guys are wondering like whoa like why are you doing powder then cream like that's scary you know but this actually dries as a powder so that's why I used to apply this like before I would put the powder and it just like wouldn't look right so I was like hmm let me set it with pressed powder and then let me put this on and it just like looks so good like this and then I realized it's because it doesn't set as a liquid like it actually sets as a powder so that's why it doesn't look good under under powders it looks better when you put the pressed powder on and then you put this on i feel like the camera isn't doing me justice but like i'm looking like already like super bronze like i'm obsessed okay so now it's time to set my face because you already know how it is with oily skin i feel like during winter i have to set my face so like imagine during spring and summer when the when the weather actually gets warm so like i have to set my face because my makeup will slip and slide literally if i don't as i'm letting this bake right here i'm going to go in with some contour and i'm just going to chisel my cheeks out a little bit just to have you know a little structure to my face going on because even if it's still warm outside, I still got a contour and I love it because it adds that like little more bronziness. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more translucent powder and I'm just going to sharpen the contour even more on the bottom so that way it's extra, you know. Now I'm just going to dust off the translucent powder and everything and just kind of blend out my contour. I feel like my skin still looks like Skin, but it still has that coverage that I want you know so now it's time for bronzer so that way I could bronze myself up even more I'm going to go in with the MAC bronzer in the shade dark and believe it or not I don't use the physician's formula one during summer and this is not the right brush now I have my right brush that I use for this but believe it or not, I don't use the Physician's Formula during summer. But whenever it's summer and spring, I always go for darker bronzers. So I'll either go off with this one or the NARS one, depending on what shade I want. And the reason why is because I get very tan during summer and spring. Mainly in summertime because I go to the beach more often during the summertime. But yeah, I do get a little bit tanner or a lot tanner. So I feel like everything has to change like all my light foundations all my light concealers all my light bronzers have to go like i just can't use the physician's formula one because it'll literally look like my skin tone so i literally have to go in with darker bronzers so yeah i'm just telling you guys the products i use so for my blush i'm gonna go in with milani luminoso you guys know this one this is not new on my channel i use this all the time but i love this blush especially during spring and summer because it's super peachy and like super pretty and plus it has this like glow to it where it looks so good like especially if you want that glowy look during spring I know a lot of people do so this blush is so good especially NARS orgasm ones I should have used that one because I don't really use that one but oh well I'm going to use this one but yeah do you guys see that like it kind of gives like a highlight effect already because of that glowiness so yeah, like oh my gosh it's so pretty and then for spring gotta top it with the nose i love the nose like when people like blush their nose too but i don't like it during winter just because i don't know i feel like 
I don't know. I feel like it looks just cuter during spring. So I like to do a little nose blush for springtime because it just like looks super cute. And I feel like a little angel when I do that, you know? Now time for one of my favorite things during spring and summertime, which is highlighter, of course. I love highlighter during spring and summer. I feel like during winter, I just wasn't really having highlighter just because I mean like what sun what is the highlight going to reflect on like there's no sun outside so i feel like some i feel like winter is when like i hold back on the highlight like i don't really use as much if i do use highlighter but i feel like with spring and summer coming like there is going to be sun like golden hour and all that so i feel like it's just so perfect this is actually limited edition so if you don't have it actually can't get it and i would show you guys but literally my highlighter my Omrizi highlighter is literally cracked. Like, can you guys see, like, the cracks? Like, it's literally, if I tilt it anymore, it's gonna fall. I'm going to highlight the nose. I always highlight the nose first just because I love highlighting my nose. And, wow, I love this highlighter. I haven't touched this highlighter specifically in a while because I've been actually using the MAC Soft Glam one just because, like I said, I don't really want, like, a blinding highlight just because, you know winter it's like where's the sun like there's literally no sun outside so my highlighter isn't going to be shown but i mean for the sake of this video i'm going to be wearing highlighter but just letting you know until the warm weather comes that's when i'm going to start wearing highlighter again and then i'm going to just dab it around i feel like the blush gives already the glow but we need a little bit more. Do you guys see that? Wow. Oh my gosh. This is how it feels when you haven't worn highlighter in so long. Or like highlighter that's like super blinding. Because I was wearing highlighter, just not a super blinding highlight. Like I was using the soft and gentle one. You could definitely build it up. I'll literally like when during winter, I would literally or even now, like when I'm doing my makeup, I'll literally tap it like twice and then just apply and I'll just apply it. Like I won't like go too crazy like how I am right now. That's why I'm a little too excited with the highlight right now. So of course we gotta do the temples. And during summer, you guys could definitely tell that like the glow is right there during golden hour and just like, you know, all day. Yeah, I love the nose highlight. It's like I love it. Okay, so what I've been doing, I think, I don't know if I've mentioned this before or if I said this, but I highlight my nose and then I go in with the contour. I feel like it's just so much easier to like detect where I want my contour to be. I'll literally make it like the smallest pinched nose ever. I know I don't need to contour my nose, but I just feel like it puts the look together. During spring, I don't know if I am going to contour my nose a lot. I feel like I'm not going to contour my nose as much but i feel like if some days i want to be a little extra i'll contour my nose but i feel like i'm not gonna contour my nose as much but do you guys see you guys see the nose it's coming but do you guys see this oh my gosh this nose contour wow okay so my nose is contoured already so I'm using this tiny, tiny eyeshadow brush for the bottom of my, for the bottom eyeshadow part. And if you guys know me or if you guys watch my videos before, I don't like that huge, like drastic under eye eyeshadow. I like to keep it like super tiny and like, you know, you can see the color, but like it's not so out there. I don't know. I just never really like that. So the colors I'm going to use today, I'm going to actually mix these two. I think I think I'm just going to use this one first do it and then if I want to add it the purple I'm going to I don't really know yet so I just decided to just keep the pink eyeshadow for the bottom I'm not gonna add the purple so now I'm just going to add mascara to the bottom lashes so you guys know that I love wearing gloss throughout the whole entire year I am a gloss fanatic Hardly ever would you catch me wearing a matte lipstick. I mean, if you do, it's probably because I'm going out somewhere. But majority of the time, even if I'm going out, I wear gloss. Like, I am obsessed with gloss. I've always been obsessed with gloss. And I feel like everybody had that phase where they were obsessed with matte lipsticks. And, like, I definitely got out of that phase. And I'm such a gloss fanatic. And during winter, I actually told myself, like, okay, I'm going to try and wear matte lipsticks a lot. And I just can't. I just can't get myself to wear matte lipsticks. 
I'm always, always, always wanting to wear a gloss. So I actually have three shades. I don't know what I'm going to use yet, to be honest. I'm thinking this one maybe, but I do want to wear a gloss. And then this is a Kylie one. This is a Sephora one. And they're literally so cheap. I've, If you guys watched my night out with my boyfriend, I actually purchased this that day. So this one's actually fairly new. It's really new to my makeup collection. And this is only like $9. So it was so good. Like so good. Like it was so worth it. I actually used it when I went out one day and it worked so good. Like it actually lasted a long time. And then I have this Anastasia lip gloss. I know I'm going to wear this one for sure. Because like I'm going to show you guys how beautiful this lip gloss is. Let me just show you guys the name of it. It's called Summer Vibes. And I'm going to wear this so much during summer. Like it's not even funny. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's such a pretty gloss. Okay, so I have my flash for my phone. And I'm going to show you guys. Look at it. Oh, I can't show you guys. What? What? okay i'm going to take i'm going to take a video and i'm going to put it right here so that way you guys can see because this is just so hard to do and it's so beautiful so beautiful i'm literally gonna wear this every single day for winter time i'm not even lying i mean winter i'm literally gonna wear this every single day for summertime so I think I'm going to do this combo. I'm going to add a brown lip liner. This is a Kylie Cosmetics in brown sugar. This is one of my favorite browns. I'm going to mix it with this Sephora one right here. And this one is called Cream of the Crop Top. So this is like such like a pretty pink nude shade. So definitely recommend. And I'm going to mix it so that way it has like a little brown to it. So I applied the lip combo and I actually am obsessed with this lip combo. I'm definitely going to wear this gloss a lot too. And now it's time to set the face. I'm using the Morphe Times Jeffrey and it's the spray and it literally smells like strawberries. And it tastes like strawberries too because sometimes it just gets in my mouth, okay? When I'm like spraying it and I can taste it and it just tastes so good. I know you're not supposed to like taste makeup of course but like tastes good okay so i'm just gonna spray this all over my face it's like a spray can i love it strawberries i feel like it like sprayed majority of my hair too my hair like feels like wet now it literally tastes like strawberries <laughs> oh wow my skin looks so dewy i love it I love it. Like, I can't wait for springtime. Wow, my makeup looks so dewy. I love it. Like, I can't wait for springtime when, you know, I could bring out the dewiness and stuff. Because, you know, it was good winter. But now we need a little glow to our skins. And just, you know, wow, my skin looks so dewy. I'm, I'm obsessed. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to end this video out right here. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And keep on watching my videos. And yeah, bye, guys.